Here at Studio NPL, we are always looking for ways to reduce and reuse where we can. And one big way we can do this is by using less paper towels and more reusable ones. Hey friends, this is Ashley from Studio NPL and today I am making unpaper towels. These are a really awesome way to reduce waste around your home and they're really easy to make. You only really need your scissors, your sewing machine, and an old bath towel that has seen better days. Maybe it has some holes or some spots on it. It's looking a little ragged, but it still has a lot of mess cleaning life left in it. So go ahead and find your towel and let's get to making some unpaper towels. All right, let's get started. So first you'll want to decide what size you want. I went ahead and used a paper towel for my inspiration, and this is eight inches by 11 inches. Whatever size you do choose, make sure to add half an inch around each edge, and that's for your seam allowance. Mine turned out to be nine inches by 12 inches when I was cutting them out. So go ahead, lay your towel flat, and trace these out with either a ruler or find a book that's the perfect size. And then just lay it down, trace it around, and then cut. All right, so by now you've probably noticed that cutting and playing with this terry cloth towel material can be quite a mess. So we're going to want to bind off these edges so that they don't fray any longer. If you do have a serger at home, go ahead and use that. And if you do not, you can do a zigzag stitch like this. And that's what I'm about to show you. So set your machine to do the widest zigzag possible. Go ahead and place your needle, um, place the fabric under the needle probably about a quarter of an inch away from the edge and you can adjust this as you go. Your goal is for one side of the needle, one side of the zigzag to go off the edge and one to stay in the fabric. So go ahead and do a back stitch and you can redirect this as needed as long as one side is on, one side is off or close to off. Do your back stitch when you're finished. And it should look like this. You're going to do this to each edge, all the way around of each towel. Now it can be kind of time consuming and it's all about practice, but this is really gonna help your towels last a long time. Okay, so this is our last step. And basically all we're gonna be doing is folding down the half inch seam allowance that we added when we cut. We're gonna sew that down and it's gonna look like this. And I've already done a little bit of this towel, but I will show you the rest of it. So you're basically just gonna find where half an inch is away from your needle on your presser foot. And you can fold, and you can also press before you're to the sewing machine. So you can have these all pre-creased, and then you don't have to fight it with your hands as much if it's difficult. Whenever you're ready, you just get started with a few stitches, do some back stitches to back tack, and then go ahead and sew. So we're approaching an edge. What do we do? So before you get there, you're gonna want to fold this up towards your presser foot and just hold it right there. You can use your left, the fingers of your left hand to kind of do this. So you're just holding it down and you're letting the machine pull the fabric in. And you can do a little back stitch if you want to. You don't have to. All right, now, this is a good spot to turn. So if you want to do a 90 degree turn, you just need to make sure that your needle is in the fabric. So make sure it's down there and that's going to hold it in place so you don't break your stitch line. Then lift your presser foot and then pivot. This is really, really useful technique in sewing. And it makes a really crisp edge if you're going to do an angle. All right, now we're ready to blast off. Uh-oh, we have another edge. Fold up towards your presser foot. Just hold it in place. Let the machine pull the fabric in. Again, needle down in the fabric. Lift your presser foot just a little. Rotate your piece. There you go. And then one more time. Next 
stitch. Just secure that corner. All right. And it's gonna look like this. And that, my friends, is an unpaper towel. All right, so that's all there is to it. Once you've hemmed all of the edges for your unpaper towels, they're ready to go. You can just fold these up and keep them in a basket next to whatever sink you use the most, and it will really help you cut down on using disposable towels and creating waste. Also, make sure you get a dirty bin. So whenever you're finished with one, you throw it in here, and it's ready for laundry day. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can add snaps and make them more dispensable, but they will absorb the exact same amount either way. Go ahead and make your towels and send us photos. We want to see what you've been working on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.